Good evening, good evening, good evening. No, the afternoon, my bad, y'all. Good afternoon. Today is still June 28, 2024, Friday. It is the weekend, baby. And I'm glad that y'all are here. I'm glad that I'm here. Thank y'all for tuning in. I wish each and every one of y'all, I hope, I want, I'm manifesting. I'm sending your way. If there's any power that I may have, if it's possible, if there's something I can do, then I'm sending it your way. Peace, great blessings, happiness, joy, financial, physical, emotional, spiritual, prosperity in all areas of your life. If that's something that God has given me the ability to do, then that's what I'm doing. I'm sending it to you. So receive it. That's what I really want for each and every one of you. Even the haters. Even the haters. I understand y'all too. So, take that blessing and run with it. Now, on to the topic. I was reading through the comment section, responding to as many as I can and what have you. Man, I be having a lot of comments. Man, man I thank y'all. I remember I used to be able to respond to everybody because I didn't have like three or four comments on each video. So I can respond like thank you and say something to everybody. But now I'm like, there's so many comments. So if I haven't responded or anything, put yourself in my shoes. I'm dropping three or four videos every day. And so far, through the grace of God, I'm not bragging or boasting, but y'all are supporting me. Y'all are supporting me, which I'm grateful for your support. And y'all are commenting and hitting the like button and all that, man. And I'm... And, it's more than I can see. It's more than I can get to. So, in case I don't respond to your comment, whatever, on each and every video, I want you to hear me now. Thank y'all, man, I appreciate it. I'm not ignoring you. I'm not some big star, some bullshit like that. I'm just, you see where I am. I'm, in my, I'm, I'm, I'm a down to earth, regular guy. I'm not ignoring you. I can't get to everybody. But so, I, hopefully everybody can hear me here when you comment and what have you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Don't stop. Call. I didn't respond. I didn't see it. I, I'm, I'm like, it's, it's, it's going way better than I expected. And anybody that was here in the beginning know that in the beginning, when I first started, I would respond to every comment. But that, like I said, I only had two or three, so it was easy. Now I'm getting hundreds of comments on each video over a period of time. I, I, you do the math. Put yourself in my shoes. I'm not. My head ain't swollen up. I got a big head. But it was born, I, you know, I always had a big head. I used to get teeth when I was a little boy. Leave my body caught up with my head. I used to have a little body and a big head. Now I got a big body, so my head don't look as big as they used to when I was, you know. But that's hereditary. Just big head, big water head. But I don't have the inflated ego big head. So if I didn't respond to your comment and it ain't called I'm overlooking you and who is this peasant? talking to me I don't I'm not that dude so I appreciate it and if you haven't already it's a bell on the side of where you subscribe at the little subscribe button it's a little bell if you haven't already done that touch that bell then you're gonna see choices pop up where you can hit all touch the all so every time I drop a video or when I go live, they would notify you. A lot of people say, I ain't know you went live, big one. I ain't know. Cause you gotta hit the notification. They would notify you of anything I'm doing on YouTube. So the little bell that you see, touch it. It's gonna pop up where you can hit and you're gonna see all. Hit the all button and you get all notifications of anything I'm doing. Thank you. Now on to the topic. The young man wants to know, in 2024, 
how do you know if a woman is genuinely interested in you or just after what she can get out of you? Is there even a such thing as getting genuine feeling out of them anymore? I don't know whether you, most likely you knew or you ain't seen this video or don't know how I feel about this. When it comes to feelings from a woman, love and what have you, and they just want you for what they can get out you, this and that, what have you. There is no, let, let me get this started by saying this. There's no such thing as unconditional love that a woman has for a man unless it's her son. She don't even have unconditional love for her father. The only man a woman can have unconditional love for is her son. Which means no matter what he does, she gonna still love him. No matter what he don't do, she gonna still love him. If he in jail and got life in prison, she gonna go see him every chance she get. She gonna send him her little money. She'll put up her house to bail him out if she could. If, that, if, they, if that'll get him out of jail, a mom will put up her home for her son to get him out of jail. The only man a woman can love unconditionally is her son. And that's how it's supposed to be. Get that out your head, first of all, as a man. Get that fairy tale fantasy thought out your head. Because in reality, don't nobody want nobody for nothing. As men, we want something out of the woman we with. We're not with a woman just on love only. We love her because of what she does for us, how she makes us feel by doing whatever it is she do for us. That's where the love comes from. We don't love a woman just because, unconditionally. We don't expect it from them either. Yes, she wants some out you. She's supposed to. So to answer your question in 2022, how do you know if a woman is genuinely interested? They're not genuinely interested. Not just in 2024, not ever. And we're not genuinely interested in, in them either. Now let me break it down to you. All you should want from, I tell y'all about respect and love. I don't want love from a woman, I want respect. How you can tell if she's genuinely interested, it don't matter if it's genuine or not, as long as she's doing what the hell she's supposed to be doing for you. That's all you expect out of a woman. Not just a woman, anybody in your life that's in your life, but overall a woman. We're talking about relationships and women right now, right? All I want and expect from a woman, I don't care if she, I don't care if she can't stand me. As long as if she with me and call herself being in my life, Whatever it is I need for a woman to do for me, whatever that need, everybody got their own different needs. Whatever your needs are, if that woman is taking care of those needs, it don't matter if it's cause she's trying to get something out of you. I don't care why she's doing it, as long as she's doing it. If it ain't genuine or if, it, if she just trying to get something out of me, she's supposed to get something out of me if she's doing what I need her to do. I'm supposed to do for her too. I don't give a damn if it's genuine. Ain't no such thing as genuine. Get out that soft guy shit. A woman has never loved a man unconditionally. Your mom ain't love your dad unconditionally. Your grandma ain't love your granddad unconditionally. They all provided something for that woman that made her, she might have loved him, but she loved him for a reason. I ain't saying your grandma and your mom ain't love your dad or this and that and the world. She ain't love him for nothing. It wasn't genuine as in he ain't had to do nothing. And she just loved him. He did something. It might not have been financially. It might have been his strength. It might have been his character. It might have been, it was something about him that made her love him. She ain't just love him off the rip. You gotta make people. It gotta be something about you that attract people to you to make them want to be with you. Your grandmama wanted to be with your granddaddy for something that he provided for her. Even if it wasn't money. He provided something. He might have provided her with a sense that he might have been funny. He might have had that good wood. He might have been the type of dude that she knows she's safe around him. So she ain't worried about nothing. It was something. Ain't nobody with nobody for nothing. We all with somebody to get something out of them. 
It ain't nothing wrong with that. It's called survival. It's called give and take. It's called compromise. It's called supporting each other. I am with her for what she can do for me, and she's with me for what I can do for her. That's the human, that's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Tupac Shakur. So if you're in 2024, or wherever you may be, you might be a, a cyborg up in the future. I don't know who the hell you are. But if you're sitting around here waiting on a or looking for a woman to love you and be with you genuinely, just because you you, you's a goddamn fool. That ain't happening. And ain't nothing wrong with the woman for that. And like I said, I don't care if it's genuine or not as to why she doing what I need her to do, as long as she doing it. That's all that matters to me. I'm not sitting around here saying she don't love me for real. She just doing it because she wants something for me. I don't give a damn why she doing it. As long as she doing it. Fella, listen to me. Women, listen to me. Get off that love shit. Love is as love does. Far as gone. Love is and love does. Don't tell me you love me. Show me you love me. Even if you don't love me, show me anyway. So basically, if she ain't doing it for love, but she doing it, be happy with that because that's all that matters. As long as I'm getting what I want, who gives a damn about what anybody else got to say? It ain't about love, ladies and gentlemen. Love is a feeling. Love comes and goes. Person can love you one minute, hate you the next. You can meet this woman, and in the beginning or whatever, she got these feelings for you, whatever. That don't mean she gonna have them for you later on. You can have feelings for her in the beginning, that don't mean you gonna have them for her later on. That's why marriage is in. So quick nowadays, people don't stay married anymore because they they basing their marriage and staying together based on a feeling instead of doing what you're supposed to do. Doing what you're supposed to do ain't got shit to do with how you feel. When you done took them vows in a marriage, there are some things you're supposed to do to stay together. It ain't got nothing to do with how you feel. That goes to the women because y'all are the ones out here divorcing, throwing away whole family because of how you feel. So, in 2024, in 1824, the rules are still the same. Nobody is for you genuinely. Everybody is for you or with you for what you can do for them, and you are with her for what she can do for you. i tell you what you do. Ain't many men out here Gonna be with a woman he can't get no coochie from. I don't give a damn how much he love her. Unless he a real solid dude and she having health issues. The way she can't do it. Then a man, a real solid, you got men to leave a woman with health issues if she can't get none. But overall, a good solid man, if he with his woman, a wife, a, a relationship, she having a health issue and she can't have sex with her, he ain't gonna leave her. But other than that, if a man with a woman, oh, I just love this woman, and unconditional or whatever, let her, let her cut that cooch off. And watch what happened. He gonna try a couple of times, and she keep, nah, I don't feel like it, I'm tired, I got a headache, well, I don't feel like it. He gonna go get him some more from somewhere, he's gonna cheat or leave her ass. That love, gen un that unconditional, genuine love he had for her, gone. Man is not with a woman that can't do nothing for him, that can't do what he want her to do. Everybody got different needs and wants from a woman, every man. We all don't want the same thing. And that goes for a woman too. You ain't gonna meet a woman nowhere. She don't exist, she ain't never been created. 
that want you for you only. You ain't got to do shit for her unless it's your mama. You youngsters, some of you old dudes need to realize that. Wake up to reality. Get out of your little fairy tale world. Grow a pair of balls. Stop being a bitch. Don't expect a woman to love you for you. Know that her love comes at a cost. So does yours. My love got a price tag on it. By nature. Her love has a price tag on it by nature. That don't always mean financial price tag, but it comes with a cost, home boy, home girl. Somebody somewhere right now looking at his wife. My wife loves me unconditionally, big boy. I don't know what you talking about. That ain't my wife. Or some woman somewhere looking at her husband. Now my husband love me unconditionally, big boy. Speak for yourself. That don't apply to everybody. Believe what you want to believe. We can agree to disagree. But I'm telling the truth. And the truth don't care who like it. That don't stop it from being the truth. Your woman or your man would not be with you if you ain't providing for them whatever it is they want. Whatever it is, if you stop providing, it ain't gonna be long before they gone. And you gonna be like me and a lot of other men at one point in time in our life couldn't believe that that bitch left me. I thought she, she told me she'll never leave me. She told me she ain't never loved a man like she loved me. That bitch gone. You'll find yourself in them shoes like I was. More than once. I was in those shoes more than once till I came to the realization of the truth. The truth shall set you free. There's no such thing as unconditional love except the love that a woman had for her son. No, I love my dad unconditionally, Big Ward. There are women out here who dads have abandoned them, left them to die. They can't stand his ass, and he they daddy. Even your dad, as a woman, you love your, the women out here that's crazy about their dad, the women out here that love their dad like that, cause their dad was there. Their dad was that dude. That's why she loved her dad like that. If her dad was a deadbeat, she wouldn't be studying his ass either. Even though he dead. But that son, like I said, that son could be a crackhead. She gonna still be that for him. She might not let him in the house cause he gonna steal a, the DVD put this a DVD player. But anyway, once upon a time we had VCR DVD player, what happened, the crackhead coming there steal your shit. Your son, your daughter, what have you. So you couldn't let him in the house. You feed him, but you feed him outside. You give him a plate outside or you don't let him in cause they gonna steal. But the mama still wasn't gonna cut her crackhead son off. You might be somebody who got a brother or sister that was a crackhead. And you wasn't, and the rest of your sibling was college student, what have you. And y'all used to be mad at your mama because your mama won't cut your crackhead ass brother off. Keep coming up, she getting him money, feeding him, buying him clothes. You're like, mama, leave him alone. He, he on that shit. He ain't gonna do right. And your mama wouldn't cut him off for nothing. And y'all were mad at mama. I just seen it happen with the, the brother and sister mad at mama. Called mama, mama, you letting him use you. He know he on that dope. Mama would not cut him off. No matter how much crack he smoked. Mama still. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's the only unconditional love that a woman will have for a man. is her son. So it don't matter if it's 2024 or 1724. Uh, 24 BC, whatever the year, there's never been a time in American history or human history or the history of mankind where a woman genuinely loved a man and he ain't provide her with nothing unless it was her son. So get that through your head. The answer is no. There is no genuine love that a woman has for a man. The answer is no. But also, it doesn't matter. All that matters is does she respect you? And is she giving you what it is you want to need? 
If that's the case, give her what the hell she want to need. That's how this thing works. Call life. Get it. Got it. Good. Bye.